on the road again. Uh, uh, uh. I just can't wait to get uh, on the uh, road again. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Doing your own thing with your own rhythm. That's what she said. With your own mother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reaction Day. I'm Corbin. I'm Leslie. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter <laughs> for juicy content. Thank you so on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. We develop on an occasion squad. Hashtag lick is Leslie. Lick is Leslie. Lick is Le lick is Leslie. Mm. Ew, don't lick is Leslie. Yeah, that's gross. Uh, but I don't know. We're off the road. What are we doing? Right. Hey, your reindeer's horny. <laughs> Get it? Do you guys have um deer in India? I'm sure they do, right? Got to in the mountainous regions, right? I would imagine so. I, I would imagine they're different, obviously, than North American deer. Well, ours are North American. I know, but... Because obviously they're not... They very well, up in Kashmir and up in, in the Himalayas, they might have more... reindeer. Well, you think they have reindeer? They may have reindeer up in those regions, because that's... Reindeer are, are, are cold-weather deer. But I don't know. I'm I'd sure love, you have deer. I'd love to know the kind of uh, deer... Obviously, in... it's on the opposite side of the world, so they yeah. probably have a different species that we are, do not have here. Right. Like, I don't know if they have white tail. I don't know if they have... Yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know. Interesting. But, uh, what are we doing? Off topic. Yeah. Uh, today, we are... I was going to think of something funny, but I couldn't. Oh, uh, that's okay. Yeah, happens, you know? It does. Um, but... <clears throat> yeah. 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 I mean, we could just cut this now and not even do anything. Oh, yeah! Could you could. imagine? That'd be pretty funny. We've never done that before. Where we just talk crap and then don't react to a single thing. This uh, video is called The World Without India. <laughs> oh. So, I don't like that idea. I'm guessing it's going to go over... Like if if right, what would happen? Hypothetical: If India was wiped off the map, well, you'd have there'd be no zeros, no zeros, and there'd be no Shah Rukh Khan, and no USB thumb drives. So those those would all be gone. Yep. <laughs> I'm guessing it. I don't know if it's like if India never existed or if it currently just went away. What would happen? I'm guessing it's if it had, if they'd never been. What what would we have missed out on? I'm sure we're gonna get the thumb drive, the zero. Uh, and a bunch of other great things. Here we go. Yep. Have you ever thought about what the Industrial Revolution have you ever. and the Kardashians have in common? Without them, our world would be a much different place. Better. But have you ever thought about how the world would look without India? I have From now. taking landscapes to rich culture and traditions, to mouth-watering cuisine, to stunning architecture, in India has it all. Can you imagine missing one-sixth of the world population? With over 1.3 billion, India makes up 17% of the world population, is that's the big biggest no, democracy in the world, up four? and it also right. has the third largest economy. But the population of Bharata, the Hindi name for India, is not only large, Bharata. but also extremely diverse. There's no country more diverse than India, little? culturally, oh. religiously, and intellectually. Fancy cakes and cookies. I do. You also I do. have to thank India for your cavities and diabetes. Thank you! <laughs> to develop extraction and purifying techniques of sugar back in 350 AD. Oh. And ever since, they have been adding it to their cooking and they desserts in enormous quantities 20 kilograms per capita, more precisely. But even if they, they do have a sweet <laughs> tooth, Indian men know that sweets are not how you win a woman's heart. Diamonds are. So guys, if you want to blame someone for having to spend thousands on an engagement ring, Indians are the ones. They were the first to mine those expensive rocks that make your girlfriends happy. They were the first to find them or mine them? Splendor doesn't mine stop them. at shiny jewelry. Their cities are engulfed by people. Okay, more than usual. During festivals such as Holi, Diwali, Navarati, and Onam, which are known Holly. for being big and extremely Have a Holly, popular. jolly Holly. In fact, the Holi Festival inspired the famous color rock. And that's not the only thing Westerners I'm borrowed sure we from India. that at the outset. Probably. We are what we think. Said I people. am the greatest man in the, the world. the reasons why India is such a diverse country is because of the multitude <laughs> of religious beliefs traditions and practices the indian subcontinent is the birthplace of four of the world's major religions 
Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. But considering the very idea of religion was born there, that is to be expected. The idea of religion? Do you sometimes miss your well, Pentium computer? You might not be alone. Up until 2009, 90% of the world's computers run on a Pentium chip, which was developed by the Indian engineer, yeah, entrepreneur, and venture capitalist, Vinod Dung. But a laptop without Wi-Fi is like a football without beer. Well, guess what? The father of wireless communication was also an Indian. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose's contributions to the field of radio and microwave optics gained him the title of father of radio science by the IEEE. So basically, we owe our most prized possession, our wireless internet, to Indians. When it comes to war, wait, what? War? India has never invaded or attacked another country wait, in the last 10,000 years. However, they are the we world's largest importer of arms. So better safe Whoa. than sorry. They'll bike to your country with a rocket if they have to. What the? <laughs> Don't be too fast in thinking that India is the perfect country to live in, though. Masanram, a village on the Kasi Hills, Meghalaya, is officially the wettest inhabited place in the world. Your but Indians don't seem to whine as much as others do. On the contrary, it seems like they really Worse like wet Seattle? places. So much so that they it's even like have a floating post office. Oh! Sailing to closer waters, like the that. ones in your nope. shower. Did you know that Indians also invented shampooing? The yes, word shampoo we comes that. from we the Sanskrit that. shampoo, yes. which means massage. And they've been massaging with herbs for thousands of years. So next time you're in the shower, you can also dedicate a song to Indians. Oh, How about India. we talk about what really matters? Entertainment. Without Freddie Mercury and Ben Kingsley, the world of entertainment would not be the same. Queen's lead vocalist was born in Parsi with the name Farouk Bosara, while the famous Oscar-winning Hollywood star Ben Kingsley was born as Krishna Pandit Banji. I really did not know we that. We saved the best for last. I did not know Finance. that. Finance. Last year, the goods and services tax was introduced in India. This is the first step towards dramatically reshaping the country's $2 trillion economy and lifting the burden that up until now fell on both companies and consumers. If you are concerned whether your company is prepared for this change or not, why worry? With Sleek Bill, your billing process will be simple, efficient, and GST compliant. It just turned into an ad. <laughs> designed to make your life easier I think and it let did. you enjoy more of this did. amazing culture. Sure enough, Sir Ben Kingsley, his birth name is Krishna Pandit Banji. And he was born in, I had no idea, he was born in England, England, but I, I know he was Indian. Also, I thought Freddie Mercury was Egyptian. That's what I thought. I thought he was Egyptian. Is that an incorrect? Kingsley was born as Krishna Pandit Banji in uh, Snayton North Riding of Yorkshire. And then he, when did he change it for SAG? His, did he his, change it for uh, SAG? His mother was Anna Lynn uh, Mary, and his father was Dr. Rahim Tula Hanjabanji. His mother was English, obviously, and his father was born in Kenya, but was of Gujarati descent. Oh. His, grand, his paternal grandfather was a spice <laughs> trader who moved from India to Zanzibar. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Neither did I. That, that added a new level of gratitude I have now for of him because I didn't know that he was Indian. I thought he was English. And when he played Gandhi, no, I, I didn't know he had Indian in his ancestry. I knew he had Indian. You did? One, I thought that'd be weird if he played Gandhi and didn't have any Indian in him at all. Well, Hollywood does that all the time. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, um, but yeah. So Freddie? Yeah, I thought Freddie Mercury was Egyptian. And by the way, um, I know there's many of you, not a whole lot, but many of you who don't like us talking through informational videos because other people want to watch the informational video. You can go watch. You, we're a reaction channel. We're, we react to stuff. <laughs> so like, if you want to see the original thing, you can. Yeah, go. I'll put it in the description. It's, yeah. yeah, it's enjoy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Freddie Mercury was born. I know he was Farouk Bosara. Yeah. Uh, he was, uh, let me see where he was born. Born in Zanzibar to Parsi Indian parents. Oh! Well, you learn something new every day on our stupid reactions. Yeah, Although, I, you probably knew it. We didn't. I thought he was Egyptian. I thought he was Egyptian. Why did I think he was Egyptian? I did too! Why would we be told that for years from ignorant, yeah. evil people <clears throat> spreading these rumors? Americans are usually spot on with their information. This is true. We're almost always right about everything. Yep.
Race or, relations. <laughs> or at least we'll tell you we are. Uh, firearm ownership. Anyways, uh, they had actually had some new information, so that was fun. That was cool. A lot of times we'll see these and we know a lot of the information out because we've been exposed to it. I want to do this festival. We've been doing a lot of festivals. I want to learn about this new festival, Holly. Yeah. I mean, that sounds great. Have a Holly Jolly Holly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we did the same thing. We probably called it a Holly. I guarantee we called it Holly. Holly. I, I don't know if we did, though. I don't know if we did either. We should go back. We've mispronounced a bunch of stuff. Not Always. Saying we don't, constantly. Constantly. I don't know if we, we may, you can send me a video clip that we did. I'm Where sure we did, we, I'm, yeah. I'm sure people Holly. are already like, yeah, you're here, Corbin's on Twitter. We, well, I remember we were questioning the pronunciation early on, like before we celebrated it when it was coming, because that was right at the beginning of the channel, the very first Holy we ever celebrated, yeah. which was a lot of fun. Anyway. Yeah, that was cool. That was, that was well, fun. Let us know the information, uh, if, if it was correct, and if it wasn't, scold them. And make a song in the shower while you're shampooing your hair for India. India, oh, India. India, India. Except that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look <laughs> <laughs>